Joe Quiero. Do you remember when it was COVID? Mm. And we weren't allowed to touch? I know. Oh. But now we are. Oh. Oh. I look like I sell like Play-Doh door to door. Yeah. 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 Or like, like yellow blush. Brand. Yeah. Scarp. Scarp. I'm scarf not big. Bar, I just don't fit my clothes. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> it's just nice to have a dress that it's at a length where I can sit like this. You're just one of the boys. You're a tomboy. You've always is been a tomboy. Kind of of like, <gasps> that's great. That's great. I'm so gorgeous. Mm. And I'm doing your plumbing. You know what it's giving? It's giving, it's giving a secretary who ran out to Bergheim it's to f somebody. <laughs> Dennis O'Hare dressed as Celine Dion. Excuse me. Excuse your mouth, you foul <laughs> bitch. Dennis O'Hare dressed as Celine Dion working a shift no, at a temp it's, agency. No, it's Hilda, who is the attempt at the Kinko's in Berlin, and she just did your Uncle Otto. Did you willingly spend eight hours in a salon chair on a Sunday, like hungover? Yes, you did. And you paid $600 for that color. I look so good. Can you expound upon that, Miss Mattel? What specifically is people? Well, I think it's manual today? focus, so the closer I get, the blurrier I get, which is actually kind of good. Oh, yeah. Hey, don't you dare adjust it. <laughs> <laughs> How bad is that? Trixie Mattel. And I certainly have been a really bad girl. Take away all my muffins, you sleazy Katya. And welcome to. Oh, the show where we talk about whatever we want. Because it's our show. And not yours. <laughs> you bitch. You poop. You bitch. Yeah, you, <laughs> you bitch. You bitch. You miss. Okay, okay, okay. End pose, end pose. <gasps> oh. Ooh, no one was hurt. Today's episode is brought to you by Punishment. Have you been a bad boy? Actually, don't answer that question because we have surveillance footage of you for the last three years. Have you been a bad boy? It smells like you've been bad. Have you? Did you have a stinky <laughs> little squirt? Did you have a stinky little squirt did in your you, undies, you bad boy? Did your lunch go wet and south? Ooh. Oh, did you have a heavy load in your pampers? Bad boy, are you bad? What you gonna do? <laughs> Gross. Don't give up. Do you have a form of punishment you use on yourself? I uh, like psychological torture. In what way? So it's like, you know, you get into like deep mind games, uh -huh. three weeks long maybe, scenarios, you know? And do they know? Uh, maybe, maybe not. It has nothing to do with you. No, it's about God. <laughs> I think God is about punishment. Thank you. Okay. I think that's the key with kids with punishment. You have to actually, they have to have something. Well, there has to be stakes. The phone. It's too easy now. Take away a, a kid's phone and you might as well just chop their hands off and like, you know? Well, but, they, but they can access iMessage and stuff on their computers. All technology. It's all linked. So it's like, you just pull the plug. Your car, you can get texts in your car. I've seen it. Oh yeah, I know I do. Yeah. The car's connected to the phone, you know. Oh. And vice versa. God? <laughs> I thought it was God. I thought God just sent texts. <laughs> Punishment's <laughs> tough. Growing up Catholic, I thought... You, you were... thought it was part of life. No, I... Yes, not, not only that, like... <laughs> it's crazy the things they do. Like, they really, 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 like, unironically think... You're naked? You're wrong. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And you have to be punished for having a naked body. That's wild. With all this in it. And lips. <laughs> dripping, dripping, dripping. Juicy, juicy. Yeah. <laughs> they say, I would be punished for having a, an unappealing naked body, but not just for having a naked body. Appealing naked body? Like from a unappealing. Oh, unappealing. Yeah. Hey, punishment. No, 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 no. Because you know that all those nuns in the convent, under those habits, have the most banging, smoked out, six pack ab, breast implant bodies. You think? You think it's like Jane yeah. Fonda Barbarella under there? They're like, it's a front. They're like Sister Mary Clarence. They take, take that thing off and it's like Penthouse Magazine. If you want to learn more about being close to God, check out our new podcast, yeah. Scientology. The higher the wig, the closer to God. Yeah. Punishment. I think punished? when I want a kid, you know I'm thrifty. 
when I want a kid, I'm gonna go down to like someplace where kids freak the out a lot, Burger like King. Target. Mm. And I'm gonna wait till I see a parent who's on their last nerve with a kid. And I'm gonna go, you see the one on the little Elroy on the end screaming and crying? <laughs> yeah. I'll take him. You're in a, like a fedora and you say, how'd you like to lighten your load? No, 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 it's gonna be like a Slugworth in Willy Wonka. The everlasting gobstop. Steal one. It was like, I wanna do that. Yeah. That'd be great. I see it as a, like um, a sudden, controlling, fickle mother. Love like it. Like motherhood, you catch on real quick, strong. I wasn't punished by my mom or anything. Like she, she kind of let me do whatever. Um, but when I am a parent, oh God. and they will turn out dysfunctional, but with a lot of abilities. Such as what? They'll be like, ugh, yeah, of course I'm into long division. And I play piano and violin and I do track. Don't ask me about all those scars and the, le the missing leg. Right. Yeah. My kids are gonna come home from school and I'm gonna go, you have about 12 minutes of screen time before I take your iPhone 3 back, your flip phone. Yeah. And then I have your, your Japanese tutor here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're learning the violin via math through the Japanese. On Zoom. <laughs> like my kids will be, I don't believe in punishment as far as like as anything physical. I think it's punishment. I believe in, is that something you want? <laughs> like. I'm gonna make a mental list of all the things my kids mm. like. And dangle them. And then when they don't act right, I'm gonna go, well, that Nintendo Switch, mm. that's going away, honey. Oh, is that, you do that? You think you like that bed? What about sleeping on the floor? Oh, interesting. I'm gonna go deep. The, I'm into Santa Claus as a abstraction or like a, as a framework for punishment. Like, have you been a good boy this year? You know what I mean? Oh my God, I bet, I bet, if, okay, if I had a kid, mm -hmm. the trauma level pranks that I play on my children, oh my like, oh, I spent about 50 grand hiring a Hollywood level um, UFO to pull up in the backyard and beam me up. Like, like that. Three years in a row. I would have Santa leave Cole and I would tape the recording of it. Like a five-year-old holding a rock being like, ah! Like, I wish. But then the rock starts talking. But then I'll say, say like, well, I guess you should have studied harder. And that's unfortunate that you made that choice. Yeah, and you did fondle that. Um, a radioactive chemical, it's not just a coal, it's really from Chernobyl and your flesh is gonna melt off your body in about a few days. But my kids someday they're gonna be like, what's your trauma? And I'm like, I hated my dad. Why? Because when I did bad things, I got in trouble. Yeah, because they were- that, If that's my legacy, yeah. that I wanted my kid to get good grades and do a good job, then- <laughs> There were some mildly inconvenient consequences to my very bad behavior. Mm. Now what would be, based on what you love to do, mm -hmm. how would we punish you? No smoking, no uh, TV. Uh, I would say, I would say no smoking probably. If you could punish me, I think the way to punish me would be. <sighs> Take all this your money horrible. away. I love snacks. <laughs> like if you took away my, abil love my ability to like walk into my kitchen and grab a granola bar. Uh, okay. Lucky charms. Uh, sugar. Lucky okay. charms. Really? They make this kind called leprechaun trap that's all Gorgeous. green marshmallows. Okay. Shove it up my ass. <laughs> yeah, you know, if you want to punish me, take away sugar. I Sugar's guess hard. I love sugar. Apparently so, yeah. And your body is metabolizing it like a poison. Is that fierce? Yeah, I need to pull it together. No, you don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> you haven't pulled together. No. You need to let it fall apart a little bit. You say, what was our, like, our, our punishment? Yeah, torture. To go back to fear? Glamazon. If you told me, oh, we know that you, uh, we know that you broke into that jewelry store and stole the Hope Diamond. So as your punishment, we're gonna have you go swimming in the lake that has the animatronic shark in it from Jaws. You know what? So for some reason, I get that fear. That is so dark and wrong to me, and I would never do anything wrong again. I feel like the, the animatronic shark is scarier. Much worse. It is much worse. Much the, the, worse. The real thing is just vibing. There's so much we don't know. So, <laughs> like, there's so much we don't know. So what about hole punishment? Three hole punches? Um, it depends on how bad they've been. If they've been a really bad boy, hey! I'll get the, the, the automatic mixer uh -huh. and I'll stick it up there for like 30 minutes. Oh, the freestanding mixer. Yeah, with the bowl. Yeah. I have to take the bowl off this whole thing. And then, um, but I don't know, some people are really, really into <laughs> ball torture. Yeah. Ball torture? S a CBT, which is different than CB2. And different than CBD, which you'll need after CBT. <laughs> and you're gonna need to go to CB2 <laughs> once you bleed out from your ass on your white couch. Bloody couch? No problem. I don't, I really don't like punish this whatever genital, I hate that. Oh, punish my, punish my, punish my. What is your stance on the whole scenario, verbiage? 
We're not saying We're not And we're not saying Okay. We're not saying we're no, we're not even saying We're not discussing genitalia at all. I guess you could say my whole, my ass. My but, whole ass. But we're not saying my <laughs> We're not looking over the shoulder and saying, do you like my Man, I, I think it's like should be punished. That like the person who says that should be electric you know chair. I mean? Yeah. Oh you lord. You know what? People are into different things, and some people oh. be, being told that they're bad is the turn on. Yep. You're bad. I'm gonna punish you. Yeah. Sometimes the hardest battle is the one you make with yourself. Now, when you declare war on you, punishment. <laughs> You guys, she really has makeup on. I'm used to looking at this. I don't have makeup. I have the same no, face you, that no, always do. No, Are you wearing all honey? Oh, honey, one and two. You really are doing sexy stuff. <laughs> now I look sexy because I'm using your products. Have you noticed that when you wear like a, a purpley or nudie lip, the comments are like, hey, mom. Yeah, because people love when you change up a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They love a classic. But when you switch, when you switched up once in a while, oh, honey. That's the recipe for success.